Moore, uh, and welcome to CFES Career Hour. This month we are going to be working with our partner, Clinton Community College, to bring you healthcare hours and the pathways through Clinton Community College. My name is Brett McClelland, and I am a CFES Fellow. I work at the Beekman Town Central School District. I was a former lacrosse coach for Plattsburgh State for five years, and now I'm actually working on my special education master's degree right now. Um, Clinton Community College and CFES are partners interested in the future of the students and the younger generation of this community and the Adirondack region. So today we're going to focus on Clinton Community College's nursing program and hear from an array of guests that kind of give it, that encapsulate everything that this nursing program is about. We're going to hear from directors, educators, students, and professionals in the nursing and and alums of Clinton Community College. So I'm going to pass it to Rose, who is going to lead the conversation today. So Rose, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your pathway? Absolutely. So my name is Rose Breen. I am a fellow here at CFES. I have a sort of unique position where I'm half-time in the office and I am half-time at Willsboro Central School. Um, so I work both directly with kids and a little bit um, doing everything else around the, uh, around the company. Um, so thank you all for joining us. Um, it means a lot to have us here. Um, you know, there are kids who tell me that they, you know, want to go into health sciences or something related to nursing. So just having that opportunity to speak to someone who does that, uh, every day is really awesome for them. Um, and so again, the main thing we want to hear about today is your pathway. How did you get to where you are, how does Clinton Community College fit into that, um, and where you are today. So if I could go around, I'll kind of call on everyone as we go around, um, but please just share your name, what you're doing right now, so if you're a student, um, if you're a professional, if you have a specialty that you would like to share, and again, how Clinton Community College fits into where you are today. Um, so John, would you be able to get us started? Sure, thanks Rose. Um, I'm a student nurse right now at Clinton Community College. I grew up in Peru, New York, and I went to Peru High School. I was a graduate of 2014 class, and I came straight to Clinton Community College out of high school. I actually went for my associates in liberal arts, math, science, which I was able to get in a year. And from there, I went to Plattsburgh State for computer science. It didn't work out for me. I knew it wasn't the it wasn't the degree that I wanted. It wasn't the career path for me. So I jumped around a little bit. I went to Full Sail University Online for video game art. Yes, video game art to nursing, quite the jump. Um, and that didn't work out for me either. I learned a lot about myself during that time, though. So um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew that I had a lot to offer. And I really wanted to make a difference. I wanted to do something that would actually help people. And so I had no real idea of what I wanted to do. So I looked around the area and I saw nursing as a potential prospective career back at Clinton. I was like, I know Clinton, I've been there. I know it's like being in college. I had already taken a lot of the prerequisites. I got really lucky with that because I had a lot of college experience and I decided to join the nursing program, and I took some co-requisites in the spring of 19. I applied, I was accepted, and I've been working towards my degree ever since, and I will tell you, it's easily one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I came in not certain whether or not this is what I wanted to do. I was very on the fence, but I was committed. I committed to being a full-time nursing student, and that's what, you, that's what I believe you have to do. Whether you... You might be, you may have been like 10, 11, 12 years old. I'm like, I want to be a nurse. I'm certain. I want to be a nurse one day. I want to be a doctor. I want to be in the healthcare field in any way. I was not like that. But I will tell you, even if you're not like that now and you're still on the fence, that's okay. Because I was not certain. I tried it. I tried nursing. And I love it. I love clinical. I love it classmates have made so many great friends. I've had such a great experience with them. So, and I'm just keep on going. I'm senior now and hopefully by May, uh, 
can work towards either further education or working as a registered nurse. That's awesome. Yeah, I think a lot of students, um, you know, they might have an idea or they might not have an idea of where they're going. And to hear that it's all right to change paths even later in life, try out a few things, figure out what you're really good at, what you actually enjoy doing. Um, myself, I was going to be a veterinarian my whole childhood. I was set. Um, and now I want to be a guidance counselor. Um, so life definitely changes, um, but it's great to adapt with it. All right, Katrina, would you be able to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do and how Clinton Community College got you there? Sure. I'm Katrina Evans, Tina. I'm Director of Nursing at Clinton Community College, and um, I came by it in a sort of a roundabout way when I graduated from high school and actually Woolsboro Central, the old Woolsboro, not the new building, <laughs> just putting that out there. Um, I went to Clinton for math and science, really had no idea kind of what I wanted to do. I always had nursing in the back of my mind, but didn't want that responsibility. So I got my degree, got out, worked a little bit, and thought, this is crazy, I want more. Went back to school for nursing and um, ended up working in oncology for a lot of my career. And then one day I got a call from one of my nursing instructors and she said, I have a proposition for you. And she talked me into coming in to fill in clinical for maternity leave. And that was back in 2004. And since then, I have been in working at the college in some form or other. For, so for, for a first couple of years, it was as an adjunct clinical instructor. And then I became full-time faculty member and now director. And I love it. If you had told me when I was in nursing school and first graduated as a nurse that I would be standing in front of a classroom of students and teaching, I would have run screaming from the room. Once I got there and started it, I loved it and haven't left. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, Beth, are you available to share? I think you might also have a, another person with you. So please introduce both yourselves and what you do. Yes, so my name is Beth. Um, I was a Clinton Community graduate in 2009. And when I first came out of nursing school, I worked up on the med search floors. And then after a couple of years, I went down to the progressive care floors. And then I came down to the cardiac cath lab about 10 years ago, no, eight, nine years ago. And I am currently the director of cardiology services here at the hospital. And next to me, I have Josh who works with me as well, and he'll give you his story. Yep, so I have kind of a, a different story too. So I actually started out as like a, a blue collar worker as a young guy, did construction until my mid 20s. Um, I knew I wanted to do something else with school, but I wasn't really sure. I kind of looked into it and found, kind of stumbled upon nursing, and I saw that there was the program at Clinton. I uh, looked into it, applied for it, ended up getting in passing. Um, and then I did probably I think I did about two years on med surge, uh, which I, I liked, and it was kind of nerve-wracking to, to start with, and I didn't really want to do much else, but um, I ended up checking out the emergency room, which I ended up really enjoying. I did that for about four years. I did the, um, I moved out to Washington State, to Seattle, for about a year, and I worked in the ER and an IV therapy department out there. And then when I got back to Plattsburgh, I came back to CVPH to the emergency room and then ended up in the cath lab for the past year and a half. Um, and in that time, I finished my bachelor's and I'm actually going to be starting a, um, a family nurse practitioner program this spring. Wow, that is quite the variety, but <laughs> hey, I mean, so it gets you knowing a little bit more about what you want to do. That's great. Yep, yeah. Um, Sam, could you tell us what you do? Yes, my name's Samantha, and I am a second year student nurse. Um, I have a pretty windy path that's led me here. My senior year of high school, I, my mom had breast cancer, and I lost my mom and my brother within a short period of time, and that kind of 
it made me want to search for something that was going to give me fulfillment and purpose and a field that is going to help people after seeing my mom battle breast cancer. So I immediately thought of nursing and Clay Community College is local and it was the perfect, perfect fit. And it's been the best decision, like John said, that I've ever made. And it's just, it's an amazing program. It shaped me into the person that I am. Um, and I want to change it for the world. Um, and I hope one day to be an oncology nurse. So that's, that's what I hope. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, yeah. and yeah, so hopefully graduation in May and you'll be a nurse. Yes. Um, Anna, as another student, um, would you like to share? Anna, you are muted. I unmute my mic. <laughs> yes. Um, so my name is Anna Pate. I um, graduated from high school in 2002, lived in New Hampshire, so was not a um, resident of New York. But I came to New York to take a job on a farm at the Minor Farm in Shazy. I was the herdsman there um, for 13 years. So my degree was in dairy management, and um, I was kind of like a nurse for cows. Um, I was in charge of the health of the herd, vaccinations, delivering new calves, taking care of the mothers after they gave birth, and, and then um, treating, identifying and treating any sick animals. I loved it. It was, um, uh, I was able to, um, apply science in the field and that was something um, that I kind of knew all along was a strong point for me and something that really fueled me. Um, I really intended to be in agriculture for my whole career um, but there were a variety of things that kind of changed my mind and one of them was that at the minor farm maybe some of the students who are listening um, are familiar with some of the educational programs there. And I loved working with the students. Um, and that kind of got me thinking that maybe I would like in the second half of my career to be working with people. And, and nursing was kind of um, an, an easy um, choice because I knew I liked working in medicine, even if it was with animals, and I liked um, seeing the move from an animal being sick to to being healed again and being part of that and using diagnostic skills and being observant. So um, I decided to give nursing a try and um, certainly it's very different than working on a farm. <laughs> much, uh, much more clean, <laughs> much more cleanliness. But um, some of those same skills that I was able to identify um, even back in high school that I liked, um, that I was good at, um, I see um, them being really useful to me in the nursing field. So like Sam and John, I'm in my senior year and it's going well. Um, and I'm very thankful that Clinton is in our county, that that resource is there. I knew even before I thought about nursing school, I had heard people talk highly of Clinton nursing um, before I was even investigating it. So that's it. Thank you. I really want to pull out something that you shared right then, um, talking about the skills that you had in high school or things you were interested in high school. I think those things really translate. And that's something that's one of the best ways to identify a career that you're going to do well in and a career that you're going to enjoy doing. Because um, I am sure that nursing is a lot of long hours, a lot of time on your feet. It's a difficult um, thing to do. But if you enjoy it, if there are aspects that you can really enjoy about it, um, I'm sure it makes the work a lot easier. Um, and finally, um, last but certainly not least, Gina, would you like to share? All right. Hello. So I'm currently uh, an assistant professor of nursing <clears throat> at Clinton. I started that position two years ago, so I was lucky enough actually to have John, Sam, and Anna 
um, as my first class. Um, I've been with Clinton in some sort of capacity um, for, I think it's been 10 years now. Um, but I went to Clinton. I actually graduated also from Willsboro in 1999. And I graduated from Clinton in 2002. So I started out in Clinton as math and science also. I knew I wanted to be medical. I didn't really know what. I was actually thinking possibly PA. And I was actually planning on transferring after the first year. I went to Clinton, though, because actually, you know, guidance counselors and people telling you about college and debt don't, you know, don't go into debt. So I decided I could commute. It was local. I got out of Clinton. I got out of nursing school with actually no debt, which now I understand the importance of. It was huge. So that's kind of why I first started. So I was actually playing soccer. And we had to have a physical, and the physician was asking me what I wanted to do. And then he was like, you want to be a nurse? And he's like, go up there and go register. So I did. I went up, and I sort of got started in the pre-nursing program, and that's kind of what led me to be a nurse. Um, and then, you know, two and a half years later, I graduated. <clears throat> I went on from there, and I did pediatrics in Vermont. And then I worked in uh, CUPH in labor and delivery and an OB. And I had to give up uh, Vermont because just of the travel and sort of the, the way of, you know, we live over here and it's over there in the ferry schedule. So I've always done multiple jobs. Um, I have worked in obstetrics at CUPH for the last 17 years, I believe. Um, but in that time frame, I also have worked public health. And while I was at public health, I then decided to go for my bachelor's. And I did that all online uh, through a college in Albany, Excelsior. And then right from there, I decided to go on to NP school. And I went to Stony Brook for a pediatric nurse practitioner. And sort of my, so I loved that. So I was a practicing provider in reproductive health care until uh, this position at Clinton came about, and it's teaching fundamentals, so first-year nursing students. And the second component is my favorite, uh, OB and, you know, pediatrics. So this was really exciting because these positions don't really come very often, and I had been working in the hospital um, as an adjunct for the, you know, eight years prior to that, um, and we go to the OB unit. So that's where I am now. And I, I definitely love the education piece. And it's where I want to be forever. Um, and Clinton holds that special piece. Like, there's just something about Clinton that is just, it's great. Thank you. That is, it's so incredible to hear just the variety um, not only of specialties, but of backgrounds, and that, you know, Clinton kind of ties you all together, but also nursing ties you all together, that, you know, nursing isn't just one thing, there's a lot of variety within it, and you can kind of specialize that to, you know, what you like to do. So, earlier I posted all of the essential skills in the chat. I would like all of our panelists to pick one skill, your favorite essential skill, and share with us how you use that in your daily life. Um, and I think at this point, just kind of unmute yourselves, kind of go in whatever order you would like. I would have to say perseverance for mine. Um, because there's definitely times where it's stressful, it's overwhelming, and, and sometimes you don't have the confidence within yourself, and sometimes you feel... You know, just some, some days you just feel broken. You're like, oh, you know, I got to keep going. And you just have to pick yourself back up and, and remember what the end goal is. And clinical is the times that reminds you, you know, of why you're there and, and with your patients. And it reminds you, this is what I'm working for. This is what the long hours, the long nights, this is what it's for. So I would say that is my favorite essential skill. Great. Anyone else? I 
would say the essential skill that I'm working on is mm -hmm. agility. Um, I um, am a very structured person. I like things to be in order. Um, and, and I do my best to, to orient my life that way. I know that's how I work well that way. But um, nursing school has really grown me in that area because um, that's not how it works, you know. Um, there are times, and, and I'm sure this happens in high school too, I can't remember it, but um, when you have a bunch of work due and then um, there's some free time or some downtime, um, in the hospital it happens when um, patient needs need to be prioritized in different ways and maybe my plan for the morning flies out the window and I have to um, reschedule myself, readjust. Um, so that's something that I'm growing in as a nurse, but it's also been really um, cool to see the way it's grown me as a person because I know that that's not a strength of mine. Um, and to be able to reschedule my day um, is important in life, but also in this career. I love that you said that it's something you're growing. Um, no one has all the essential skills from the day they're born. It's just not possible. You learn them slowly throughout life, um, and there are definitely things you can do to improve them. Um, and so, yeah, thank you. Who's next? I can go next. Um, one big thing that I've learned and grown significantly through nursing is my ability to use teamwork. Co cooperation, collaboration with my peers in nursing has, it, it's vital. It's essential. You say essential skills. If you want to pass nursing, you have to use teamwork. You have to work in it. There's no, no other point in my academic career did I normally get with a study group, um, you know, labs in the past where you're teamed up with someone, we would kind of just do our own thing. Nursing does not work like that. If you want to prepare for tests, you have to, and any other assignments, you have to really, you do not need to be friends with everyone, but you have to have that peer relationship where you are working towards the common goal of passing the test, you know, passing the semester, working towards passing the finals, getting this, um, getting this assignment done, you know, that kind of thing. And teamwork is just so important for nursing. And I know it could be hard because I've, I've always been a kind of shy person, but just taking that first step and finding that person in the corner who, you know, seems pretty bright and nice and just reach out and say, hey, do you have a study partner? Would you like to? It can be amazing. I've, I've gained so many great friends just by reaching out. Nursing. Well, can I in for a second? Sure, absolutely. Um, John is a former student of mine. For those of you on I'm the uh, retired principal from Peru High School. John, can you um, share with our students who will be listening? Many of our kids are obviously in classes right now, and this will be recorded and, and shared with a lot of students in the region. But what advice would you give uh, middle and high school kids to develop the skill of teamwork? Because you said, you know, we did labs together in school, and we basically, you know, and a lot of schools do project-based learning, and kids resist it. You know, they want to do their own work. What advice would you give the kids who are going to see this or are watching um, skills to develop teamwork. And there are a lot of people who are just naturally like that. They want to work on their own. I was always that kind of person. But the moment that you start to connect with other people who, who do care about passing, who do care about what they're doing, if it's a lab or something, like a chemistry lab, for example, if you, if you do actually like chemistry, and you find someone else who does, and you don't normally work in teams, but you do decide to work as a team with them, you you will find that the ideas that you share can just help you learn and grow so much more than you'd ever you ever would on your own. 
because it's because of those ideas. Because everyone's different. Everyone has different perspectives. Everyone has different things that they're interested in. Um, for nursing, for example, during OB, um, one of my one of my peers is really look, was really looking at OB, enjoyed OB. I didn't think it was really for me. So, sorry, Gina. Just <laughs> being honest, but um, but talking to them really helped me get through the class and kind of they kind of threw in things I didn't think about, and that really helped me get through the class. So in high school, developing that skill of teamwork just by reaching out to others that you feel like have similar goals and interests in you, it it. It's tough taking that first step, but once you do, everything else is easier. Actually getting together in the future, you'll become much more comfortable. And it helps you with your social skills in general, which would have helped me a lot. And it's helped me immensely. Thank you for asking that, too. Almost sounds like networking, too. Um, but yeah, so teamwork applies in...